welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy on the rocks and I'm here with Anastasia Ryan. And today we're going to be making the pumpkin pie bites using this little <laughs> muffin pan. So it's gonna be cute, small, bite size, easy to eat. And I've never made pumpkin pie before, so I'm excited to see yeah, what all goes in it. <laughs> Okay, All and right. it's gonna have some whipped cream on top as well. Of course, we always need the whipped cream. <laughs> um, we're not gonna be making the pie crust because that sounds like a lot of work. This recipe takes about like 30, 40 minutes. So super quick and easy. And we're just gonna be using these Pillsbury crust. Okay, you're the okay. leader. Team leader. <laughs> Okay, we have the recipe already here and we'll probably start with preparing the crust. I hope right? so. I'm excited about the yeah. crust. Well, I didn't buy um, like cookie cutters, so we're going to be using cups and I'm excited. <laughs> I never worked with the, with the crust that is already prepared, so I don't know. Let's open and see how it looks like and what should we do with it. <laughs> It says just unroll, fill, and bake. So it sounds pretty okay, simple. Okay, so we should just roll it on the table, maybe put some flour on it. On the table, flour? Yeah, so it doesn't stick with the surface. We could clean it too. Yeah, just we should case. wipe down. Or we could put also put it on like cutting board Wait if you have one. Yeah, this is a little noise. <laughs> yeah. This is a noise. <laughs> um, yeah, we could me... also put it on a cutting board or something. I have I have cutting boards. If it's like big enough. Is this big enough? Yeah. Um, is this big enough? <laughs> does size matter? No. Uh. Uh, it does, but I think this one is enough. Okay. And maybe this we can even do without. Well, we can splash a little bit of the water just in case. Do you have yeah, a spoon? let's do it. Yes. Is it a flower? It's oh, a no. sugar. <laughs> oh, no. I'm like, this doesn't look like flour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One time I made cookies <laughs> and um, instead of flour, I put sugar on yeah, accident. They like it sweet. <laughs> it was like a hard, crispy, <laughs> like the crispiest uh, yeah. <laughs> cookies that you ever had. I recently made an apple pie and I definitely put too much sugar in there. <laughs> but is this soft? Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't think that would to this. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. Oh, definitely don't need this. Yeah, I don't really know how much do we need, so we will have to, you know, maybe add more on the crust. We will probably yeah. need two of these. Let's, let's do two of these, yeah, and then if we need more, we'll do more afterwards. Okay, and then we need to... Yeah, I think the side... Let's try to make one, or let's try to make one or two and see it's perfectly in the... <laughs> Ooh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Get out of there. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh. Whoa. I broke it. <laughs> How did you get it I out? I pulled it to, to inside. I pulled it. I pushed it inside, kind of. <laughs> nervous. Go on, little. Get in there. Do you want me to try? <laughs> Maybe. I would also put oil, uh, you know. Cooking spray? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Do you think I should color. use olive oil or vegetable oil? I I think olive oil is fine. I don't have any cooking spray. That's probably something I should yeah, have before. Yeah, let's just do the olive oil and you can use like a paper towel and just... Uh -huh. Okay, so I have two pans and I'm going to just delicately drop mm -hmm. And then we're going to rub it in. In the paper. Oh, that's what I usually do. <laughs> you can... You normally do it this way? Uh, I usually, yeah, I don't have like a spray, so I usually just do it like this. Yeah, I've never done it this way. I've always just kind of like sprayed, just poured it, mm. and then it's just been all clumpy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, that works surprisingly well. Yeah. Like you, I would have thought that the paper towel would have like sucked it all up. No, it just gets like oily too, so. Wow. Okay. Now that that is done, we can check if our dough Please be fits. big enough. 
Yeah, it's actually perfect. Oh, my fingernails. <laughs> there are my fingernails. Too, there. <laughs> These marks. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. That fits. Okay, and now we're just gonna do this with ten two. more times. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. No. No. It's okay. I, I have extra too, too, anyways. Come on. It's like the air gets stuck stuck in there and it's like suction cupping. Yeah. <laughs> my, 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 my knuckles. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Are you putting powder down or powder up or does it I'm not matter? I'm going down because okay. it should make it also easier to, you know, get it out afterward. What we can do with this, because this is not going to make a circle. Maybe we could cut a little bit. Now you do a lot of baking, don't you? I used to do a lot of baking, yeah. What was like your go-to dessert that you would bake? Like if you were trying to go impress to somebody. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if you were going to impress like you know, a date, like what would you uh, bake? I think there were like some banana cupcake with some cream inside. It was really good, yeah. Kind I of like a Twinkie. find the recipe, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I don't know, I feel like everything I would make was pretty good. I started baking because I lived alone since like 17 and mm. I was baking and I was just getting fat from eating it all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, we can try to do the second one, or we can. We have a lot make of extra. One out of this. Yeah. We can make. It does one look more. like you can do one more. Yeah. I tried to make lava cake once uh, for my mom for her birthday mm -hmm. because that's her favorite dessert. Mm -hmm. Absolute disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it was so bad. My lava cake innards and the, like, cake out outards <laughs> started to, like, blend and mold together, and it created almost, like, this jello-ish dessert. Um, we threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> really? It wasn't that good. <laughs> Just my finger, my nails in there. It's like, what is it? <laughs> okay. Great. Take one, right? Yeah, let's do one. You want to throw it away? Or I mean, keep it. I feel like you can throw it away. <laughs> Just gonna have like okay. dough backed up. Yeah. Put this away too. Okay. You we'll have some Ooh. leftovers, but you know, we'll see how much filling we have. Maybe we can. We end up using both. Yeah, I'm surprised nice. how far this is going. <laughs> okay. We don't really make apple pie, uh, pumpkin pies in Russia. Oh no? No. <laughs> do you guys have pumpkins like there? Like uh, we do have pumpkins, yeah. People grow them in the gardens. Do you guys have any like pumpkin dishes that you eat that you don't see here uh, in America? I don't think so. I don't think we eat pumpkin much. <laughs> <laughs> so why were they growing um, the pumpkins? <laughs> I don't know. I I think my mom did make like some pie ones, but it was she just cut the pumpkin and mixed it with some mm. raisins and stuff. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> I think she was just improvising <laughs> by herself. I'm not a big raisin fan. No, it's not really my I, thing. I feel kind of like cranberry. Yeah, those are good. I never make like traditional pie with um, crust flour. What is <laughs> dough? Yeah. I don't normally make dough, dough pie. Yeah, I've made like pudding pie like that. Like we made mm -hmm. caramel pudding pie last Thanksgiving. That sounds good. Yeah, it's it's really good. <laughs> it's really sweet though. You can only have like yeah. half a slice. I've noticed like a lot of recipes, they like to really put a lot of sugar in there. So I usually even like cut on it a little bit. Oh, do you? Yeah. I do that with salt, like when I'm cooking yeah. and I'm like, they're like, salt this, salt that, salt this, salt that. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just salt this. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it for now. We can just maybe put we'll it, just aside, it aside, just yeah. in case we need some more. Now I believe we are gonna get into the filling. Yes. So they're saying that in a bowl we should mix all the dry ingredients. Uh, dry ingredients are three fourths cup of sugar. <laughs> These are, are our those cans. Cups? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I love those. 
Okay, three okay. fourths cup sugar. How much? Whoa, is it that's a lot of be? sugar. <laughs> we can do maybe just a little bit less. Okay. But you know the brown sugar. You want to do not... regular sugar? Or no, brown? let's do the brown one. I, okay. I, I have the same sugar at home. Um, brown sugar is not as sweet as the regular sugar, so I like it better. Like in my coffee, I always yeah. get the brown sugar. I don't put sugar in the coffee. Well, if it's like an espresso, yeah, I do. I, I use the oat milk and it's already like pretty sweet. The oh, oat milk? oat milk? Yeah, oat milk is. Okay, so this is the half. Do you want that one half? more? Half, okay. Oops. <laughs> one half cup cat. Okay, that's a half. And, and just then... a little bit more. Okay, okay that's that should definitely be enough. That's three good. quarters of a man. <laughs> um, then we have one teaspoon cinnamon. I don't see any flour. Well, we have this, so this is the inside. Ah, uh, so this doesn't have any flour. Yeah, Got no it. flour, yeah. Okay, teaspoon. Uh, one teaspoon cinnamon, extra for taste. So they're suggesting we could add extra. <laughs> so I'll just do like a whopping one for the yeah. extra. <laughs> okay. Cute. Um, one fourth teaspoon ground cloves. I really don't know what ground Me cloves either. are. I was like, what is this? I think it? these are whole though. I don't think they're ground. Let's see. Do we need to? <laughs> yeah, they are. I swear I all or what? I, I've seen them before. It smells very fall-esque. Yeah, very. Maybe um, we can try to like, you know. Like blend them? No, like break them. <laughs> is it in, is there stuff inside of it? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think you can break them. Okay, just break them with my hands. Um, maybe we can oh. use the cutting board. Yeah, I have a little yeah, one. Yeah, a little let's one for the little that. cloves. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> How much the cloves? Huh? How much cloves do we need? One fourth of a cut of the teaspoon. This might be a bit much. Oh, that's so. <laughs> way too much. Yeah, yeah, maybe like this much. Just like a little bit, like this much. I well, think maybe like enough. just crack it and then we'll just take the little powders. You oh, okay, know, yeah. So Let's that it's more ground. ground. Yeah. It's not cracking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's it's working. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like your spoon. Black. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> That looks pretty good. Yeah. I think you we think definitely we can have. Use that? Yeah, we definitely have a quarter spoon okay. in there. Let's and try let's to get out the big these. chunks. Okay, this is our smash clove. I think you might great. Perfect. Okay. And then we have uh, a half teaspoon ground ginger. Yes, I have this. It needs to, uh, there's a little lid yeah. on there. Um, there, that's a tablespoon. Do you want a teaspoon? Okay. I think more. Like this. Yeah. I never cooked on the camera. Ooh, that's oh, really ginger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Intense. Yeah, I've never heard of ground ginger before. And then some salt. Salt, okay. And half of a spoon. Like that? Or yeah. A little bit more? No, like that. Yeah, I think. All right. And half a teaspoon of salt. And I think that's all for the um, dry. Do you want to put any nutmeg in it or no? Not much. Um, One of the recipes. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, let's let's do it. Why not? Okay. So we're gonna make this our own now. <laughs> Just do a little like Oops, a half. There you go. Okay. Yeah. For some extra spice. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna mix it <laughs> together. Have a whisk too. Yeah, but desire. it's dry for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what they say next. <laughs> Add the eggs and pumpkin and mix. How much pumpkin? Uh, 15 OZ. Ounces. Oh, oh perfect, one can. One can. One <laughs> can. It's a lot of sugar though, I feel like. <laughs> sugar is definitely the base. <laughs> So we're gonna add two eggs in. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it came with my HelloFresh meal. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, this one actually is cracked. I, good thing I have more eggs. I had to bring some eggs. <laughs> I ordered HelloFresh once and 
It's only like I made like three meals and I got lazy to be making more. It's like, it's a lot. It's, it's a cook. lot. Yeah, because I do four meals a week and I'm like, yeah. I mean, you have to cook four, four yeah. times a week and it's like full out cooking, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not like quick cooking as they say there. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice that it's portion size and it all tastes really good and I cook yeah, things that I normally good. wouldn't cook at home. Oh, I'm nervous about the shells. I think it's been like a year since I cracked an egg. Yeah. <laughs> I usually do it with a knife and I know nobody does it with a knife. Oh, but I've never done it with a knife yeah, before. I don't know why I do it. Ooh. Now we're gonna look at the menu and it's gonna say like two eggs without yolk or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just says two eggs. That always happens to me. <laughs> and pumpkin, do we need to do Oh yeah, opener? can opener. So, using my handy dandy can opener, cut open this pumpkin can. And I think it smells good already. Maybe use some. <laughs> it's kind of like pumpkin applesauce. Yeah. It does smell good though. I had a pumpkin croissant like two hours ago. How was it? It was really good. From the bakery, butcher, cappuccino mm -hmm. maker. I love that place. Okay, 15 ounces of pumpkin, mm -hmm. now added. Now we can use this whisker and mix it all together. Very easy to s Yeah, super easy. It sounds funny, like yeah. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like digging oink, in oink, a pumpkin, oink. you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think. What an interesting so consistency. Yeah, very interesting consistency. <laughs> so, this is what we've got <laughs> so far. I think we can preheat the oven now to oh. 350. And we need to add this evaporated <laughs> milk. Yes, mixing constantly. So, I can be mixing and okay. you can be adding. So, I'm going to add the whole can. Let's see. 12 ounces, yeah. 12 ounces, yeah, the whole can. Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty liquid, right? Yeah. Can't wait to try it's it. a lot. <laughs> yeah, me too. I never had like pumpkin muffins. No, me neither. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Almost done. I feel like we will need more, uh, you know? Yeah. Well, we can always add more. Yeah, that's a lot. It's starting to take the color of pumpkin pie. Yeah, I feel like that's it. It's super liquidy. Yeah, it is. I'm kind of worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to pierce, but I feel like it's already pretty pierced. We need the what? <laughs> uh, pierce it with the fork, you know, make like little dots in there. On the bottom? Yeah. Oh, okay. But Does my say nail that? is touching it. Yeah. yeah. Pierce the bottoms of the crust completely with the fork. Yeah, it's a pretty common thing. Have you done it before? No, I haven't. I've done like maybe like the top. So we're just gonna poke yeah, little holes. Poke. That's a lot. In the bottom of our crust. I think for like ventilation purposes. Yeah. I was trying to be so delicate to not let like my fingernails. Yeah. Poke into <laughs> now it's like it. doesn't now we're matter. Just it anyways. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Fill each pie crust to the top with filling. I uh, pulled out a little spoon. Yeah. Otherwise, we're gonna make a mess. Cute. Yeah, it looks so cute. Probably would need to put more in I will. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of filling. Yeah. I'm thinking that we might use it all on these, though. Yeah. Because it is going pretty fast. These cupcakes are deeper, deeper than I thought. Mm -hmm. So what are your plans for Thanksgiving? Do you have oh, any? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Last year we just met with the friends and mm -hmm. we just played some table games. The friends giving. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't have families living here in LA, so yeah. not everybody goes for all of the holidays back home. Yeah, I've never really done like a friends giving, but I've no. definitely I've got invited, but I was just always like busy. Mm -hmm. Um but two years ago, we did, um, well, I, I guess I did do the Friendsgiving because I did it with like a friend's family, but it was a close friend and uh, we rented a boat and nice. like his brother came. So it was like really nice. Mm -hmm. And I cooked Thanksgiving for the first time. But this year I'm gonna be going 
back home to Florida to visit my mom. Mm-hmm. My That's mom, nice. My mom has a new boyfriend, so I get oh. to meet the boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I might be visiting my family in the middle of November because I might be going to New York. Um, so I don't think I'll be like coming back a week after yeah. I visit them. So <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, I think we could clean it up a little bit and we'll okay. have to fill the other one. Yeah, let's do the rest of the roll. Probably could get like three more in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the previously used dough and I'm just gonna make a couple more circles. Olive oil again. What do you think of four? Yeah, let's try for four. I mean, we don't have enough dough for four. We had to keep that piece of dough. <laughs> I have another box of dough, but then we'd be opening a whole nother row. Well, let's try three because I think there is like enough for three, and then let's see how that goes. Opening the holes. I feel like we got this down now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Moving fast. I might actually be able to poop, but I think we can get four out of this. Yeah. It's just kind of a bit unstable over here. <laughs> Let's try it to... Okay, it should work. Oh yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could add a little yeah. piece right here too. Yeah, since we all overs. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think that should be perfect for yeah, four. Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yay. And our oven is almost fully heated. Cute. It's a lot, actually. Yeah, definitely uh, more than just for two people. Yeah, <laughs> because the recipe said for two people. <laughs> okay, and now we should wait for, let's see, 20 to 30 minutes until top of crust becomes golden brown. All right, and <laughs> we'll see you in 20 to 30 minutes. Yes. Okay, so it's definitely been 30 minutes. So it's time to retrieve the pies. Yeah, let's see if they're ready. Whew. <laughs> I'm kind of not sure. They're kind of wiggly, but I feel like, I almost feel like the center isn't yeah. cooked all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Can we have but a fork? It's starting to crack. Yeah, it's just starting to crack. Let's see if it's... Oh. Mm. Might be ready, honestly, I don't know. Can I touch it with the finger? I think that's why they put the cream on top of it so you can cover it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it looks good. I don't want to burn it, you know? Yeah, I'd rather have it be like undercooked than overcooked. I mean, we can try to take one out and uh, let it cool off a little bit and try it, I guess. Okay. Let's get a nice little plate. Careful. There it is. <laughs> Maybe we can try to cut it in the half and see how it looks. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a store-bought pumpkin pie, but... Okay, let's wait a little bit. Yeah. Let's wait and a then second. we can try. Yeah. I can put it in the refrigerator real quick. No, what if we need to bake them a little longer? Maybe after it cools, because you're supposed to let it sit and cool for a couple hours. Oh, yeah. Maybe it like settles and becomes yeah, it like gets harder. More. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, it's actually not that sweet. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I think it could be ready or it could stay a little longer. I think let's make it ready. Okay. Let's make it ready. Let's um, let's go ahead and pull them out and put them on the plate and do the whipped cream. Yeah, like, that's a bit hot, yeah. Uh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, okay. Those cooked. Yeah, it's good. Let's go it's ahead. just a bit hot. Let's go ahead and plate them. Put this one back right here for a second. Mm -hmm. It came out so easy for you. Yeah, not too hard. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I jinxed it. Oh, this one's crispier. I'll just stay closer to the heat. Oops. I'll just put like one more on this plate. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to 
add some whipped cream. Yay. <laughs> the best part. That looks so pretty. Yay. So pretty. All right, do you want to add some cinnamon on top? Yeah, sure. I'm kind of scared to, to sprinkle it from there, so. I think there's on the side, on the side. Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fine. Okay, you do it this way. yeah. Ooh, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I love that. The whipped cream is, whipped cream is melting. <laughs> yeah, it is because they're hot. <laughs> you had to wait a little bit. Good? Yes, perfect. Ooh, it smells so good. Okay. These are our pumpkin pie muffins. Uh, it smells so wow. delicious. This is perfect for a Thanksgiving table. <laughs> <laughs> and it's much quicker to make than a whole pie because they're just little bite size. So just a perfect fun little twist on a very traditional dessert. I think they did a great job. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> then you can serve with like a side, a scoop of ice cream. Well, I hope you enjoyed making these with us. I know we had fun. And if you want to see more, you know where to go. Go ahead and subscribe to my OnlyFans at Brandy on the Rocks. And mine on Anastasia Rye. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.